Is Mike Stanner seven to one chance, ridden by Bruce Gibson, who claims five. Peter and Wilson Rennick claim seven. He's six to one. Committed schedule: local horse eleven to two. Tony Dobbin, Cherry D, the favourite at five to two. The mount of Robbie Supple. Pink Gin at six to one. Dominic Ellsworth claims seven. Burnt Imp twelve to one. Peter Ryan claims five. Worldswood sixteen to one. Graham Lee's mount. Bright Destiny Visor uh, normally is eleven to two. Richard McGrath on board. And the outsider is Nidgeway, the mount of Brian Story. So they're down at the start for this three and a quarter mile slog. Takes about seven. Uh, Cherry D, five to two. It's uh, close between the next pair, committed schedule and Bright Destiny. They're both touching 11 to two. Bright Destiny having opened at sevens. Peter is a six to one shot along with Pink Gin. Mike stands on the drift out to seven to one from 11 to two. And Burnt Imp is friendless at 12. Where they go. And so Nidgeway is the leader on the inside, Wellswood. Expect to see Cherry D up there, it's a horse with a big white face on the outside, and these three share it. Pink Gin in the green jacket, who finished second in this race last year. They're all over the first. Quite a stride on now before they come with the second. Pink Gin in the green jacket, second in this race last year, comes through to take up the running. Peter, the black jacket on the inside, very much a course regular here. Big three of his six wins have been at Carlisle, and he won this corresponding race two years ago. So the order, Pink Gin, Peter, and Cherry D, one, two, and three. Then Nidgeway and committed schedule, the pace is uh, very steady Eddie, very rightly so, it's uh, a very long way and a marathon test in really deep ground at uh, various parts on the track. The back marker at this stage is Mike Stanton, a bit of a surprise because he has made the running in one or two races in the past but he's last at the moment, the Len Lango yard. So they race down the hill on the far side and it's Ping Jin who has the advantage here. Two Cherry D on the outer, they're coming in towards the second very shortly. It'll be plain fence. And this is uh, very much the lowest point on the track they're arriving at. And it's just a slightly heavier ground down here. Two and a half years ago, the Chocolate Club advised that the course should have a, a watering system. It's only been used on uh, half a day. They take the next. Mike's down at the back of the pack, and now it's a bit of a stiff climb. Walked the track earlier on this afternoon. It's a bit of a puff and a pant, even at uh, my pace coming into the next one. This is the two and a half mile start. They're just passing now. And it's Nidgeway on the inside of Pink Gin and Cherry D, one, two, and three. Committed schedule, a local hero, and Peter. Followed on the inside by Wellswood. That's the yellow jacket on the left of the picture. And the plain fence are coming to here, and then we have a slight mistake there by by Peter, burnt him follows, red colours on the outside of the pack. The next one they come to is an open ditch, and they're on the climb all the way here. Nidgeway on the inner, comes to take it. Cherry D, not too fluent there, lost a couple of lengths. A little bit of a disappointment, still a long way to go. They're just under two and a half miles. Another plane fence now. Nidgeway and Pink Gin have committed schedule one, two, and three. Wells with a slight mistake, so they begin a, a right-handed turn and a little bit of an ease to get a bit of breath, a slight descent before this uh, turn into the home run where they have four fences to jump. The first one of these is an open ditch and it's all on the collar and it's Nidgeway who leads. Red cap on the outside, committed schedule, very low head carriage. Cherry D going back into the argument again and burnt him on the very wide outside, comes for a view of the lead and only a length or so off the pace. Pink Gin who's uh, plummeted in the weights and uh, has got the ability to win a, a race of this nature somewhere. Peter the Black Jacket on the left of the runners as they come down towards fence number eight, over which two sharing the lead were committed schedule. Tony Dobbin rides this one in the black and white diamond jacket. And uh, for Nicky Richards and Tony's by far and away the most uh, successful rider here at Carlisle. More than uh, twice as many winners as anybody else in the last five years. So it's committed schedule who leads. Nidgeway on the inner, one and two. Between them goes Pink Gin. Peter getting reminded. Well, still got a circuit to go because this will be the last on the uh, next tour. Mike Stan sits at the back, and so the order as they come up past us with a circuit to go is the committed schedule just has it to Pink Gin and Nidgeway, and then Cherry D and Peter, and then Wellswood, and then Burnt Imp and Bright Destiny, one of the back markers, in company with Mike Stan, who has only just passed Bright Destiny, and when Bright Destiny went up at air earlier on the season, he actually beat nothing. Indeed, he was the only horse to finish in that race. Nidgeway, one of the rank outsiders, takes up the running again as they head away from the enclosures. 
pretty good crowd here at Carlisle on the Easter Monday fixture. It's been held for over 100 years, racing here on the top of the hill. So they go downhill then towards fence number 11. And it's committed schedule that still just uh, shows the way again to Nidgeway in second and then uh, Cherry D and Pink Gin. And having been very quiet early on, Peter, Peter Ryan just getting into contention now on Burnt Imp. Possibly best at around two and a half miles, but he's certainly making ground, as is Bruce Gibson on Mike Stand towards the back, one of the yellow colours on the left of the picture. But it, they come down towards fence number 11 then and at it. They were umpteen in the air together there, possibly just committed schedule to Nidgeway the inside, Cherry D the progressive one, then Mike Stan has been very quiet, hunting round, but getting competitive now. They've got about a mile to go, and as they take the next, it's still a committed schedule on the outside. He's getting much closer on Burnt Him, red colours into fourth place, Cherry D, Robbie Supple back into action, Mike Stan uh, comes back for more, Wells was behind it, Pink Gin isn't totally out of it as they take that uh, next plane fence, Peter is the one the first one to crack and Bright Destiny is coming into the argument just see his head coming into the picture as they continue towards the second last open ditch they have to jump and here fine sight four in the air together and it's the pink Jim was the one that dropped away but in the yellow sleeves it's Nidgeway in the lead two burnt him in second committed schedule and Cherry D and as they cross the next gym Mike Stan's making ground and he must come into contention yeah so building up into a fascinating heat they've still got that hill to go again Cherry D's working hard for favourite people who've backed the favourite. She's been off the bit the whole way, still got work to do, but she might stay on up the hill. And Mike Stan, as you say, absolutely cruising. About four to go. And can you name it? Bright Destiny from the back and committed schedule red cap and Pink Gin comes back to more. So this is the last open ditch they have to jump and it's Burnt Imp into the lead now and going well uh, with the sheepskin sideburns, the leader. But look at Mike Stan, top weight on the inside, striped cap, black and green and white striped cap on the uh, right on the inside there, only half a length down. Jerry D looks to spend force the jolly, committed schedule can't raise his game, Bright Destiny seems to have done his run, Pink Gin's under pressure so as they uh, head down towards the second from home and as they come into it it's going to be burnt in joined on the inside by Mike Stan Nidway back in third Jerry D uh, looks committed to fourth at best so just one more fence to jump a big weight concession from on the left in yellow Mike Stan but the lead here two in the red on the right burnt him and it's Mike Stan who's given a patient perfect ride here looks round as Bruce Gibson comes 8-12 clear if not more up the run in and as they go up towards the line this race is going to go to Mike Stan coming home well clear burnt him will be pressed for Pink Gin uh, for second place and at the line Mike Stan is easing him down Pink Gin's with a bit of a run but he's eased down too and third horse home was burnt him there the one two three then Nidgeway Cherry Day a bit of a disappointing run bright destiny a committed schedule uh, then Wellswood and finally Peter and so the result then of this tote scoop six handicap a seven to one chance in the form of the top weight Mike Stan has won this written by Bruce Gibson and trained uh, not that far up the road by Lenny Lungo just on the other side of the border and a patient race by him and a well judged race too just goes to show it. I half expected him to be up with the pace. He sat last and sat round and came and delivered the challenge. Second horse home was Pink Gin, finished second in the race last year, and third was number six, Burnt Imp. Gin beats Pink Gin at six to one, and Burnt Imp third, twelves, and the favourite who was under pressure a long way out was Cherry D at five to two. All nine.